this one is actually special for me. I'm going to tell you a little story about this game. I don't like 2D indie games. Just have not been a fan of them for a while now. I used to. But 3D, like Skyrim. Games like Skyrim and stuff like that kind of ruined them for me. So I'm not a big fan of them. I was doing, about seven months ago, I was doing demos. And I came on, this is one of the demos I played. You can find it in my playlist that I played uh, earlier or late last year. This game for this demo really surprised me. I was hooked. It's creepy. I was like, what is going on here? I was hooked. And I'm like, I made up my mind I was buying the game. Made up my mind. And, but I was kind of waiting for it to go on sale. Don't ask me why, it was only a $10 game. Probably well worth that, but it was just something that wanted me to wait. And it's on sale on Xbox Live Marketplace right now for four forty six. I grabbed it. So here we go. This has been long waiting. I do. I checked like once every month to see if this game was on sale. I wanted to get the. I wanted this game. So here we go. Return. One way trip. New game. <laughs> Death leaves heartache no one can heal. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. From an Irish headstone. Red Eagle. Zen. Welcome, guys. To Red Turn. Return. One way trip. What's it going to be? What's it going to be like? What's going to happen? We're, we're going to find out. I hope you enjoy this. I hope I enjoy it. I just played the demo. We'll see what happens. Because the demo was very impressive. I really enjoyed it. Shall we begin? This game saved data manually. Use the telephone to manually save your progress. If the game is too dark, go to settings and adjust the brightness. It looked good to me so far. So manually save. <clears throat> and before she could scream, a huge slimy claw clamped over her mouth. The creature dragged her into the shadows, and she was never seen again. Utah, why did you tell such a scary story? Hello, we're sitting around a campfire in the middle of the woods. What did you expect? I think Saki prefer romance. Who ever heard of a campfire romance? That poor girl. Never seen again? What if that's us? What if we never see each other again? What are you talking about, babe? We're done with school. After this trip, we start adulting. That is a horror movie. <laughs> Most of us have jobs in different cities. Ben and Saki get married. Maybe we never see each other again. Don't be such a downer. Annie, we you never lose touch with each other. Baby's 
those last words. Ah! What the? Did you guys see that? Ow! Sucky, are you all alright? Yes, I'm fine. It just startled me. Are you okay, babe? Besides the heart attack, I'm okay. How could that have happened? I don't know. Maybe there was a gas or oil of the wood? <laughs> An inferior geyser like that? The wood would have to have been soaked. I didn't smell any gas or oil. In any of you? Now, just for common sense. If there was gas and oil on that wood, it wouldn't blow up like that. It would just burn hotter. And it would take not as much time for it to burn all the way. Not I, man. That was scarier than your story, bro. Hold on, guys. Sorry to ruin the mood. Gary or not, I'm getting cold. Maybe we should just turn in then. We're out of wood anyways. But Sam, shouldn't we have the fire burning all night? You know, to keep away wolves or something? It's okay, Saki. There aren't any wolves. Or zombies. They'd be drawn to fire. Maybe, but they'll burn easily, so we could eat just set them on fire. Stop making fun. I'd rather be safe if we had a fire. Then please. Of course, Saki. Okay, let's go scrounge up some firewood. Can we just stay here and wait for the zombies? Have our firewood come to us. Wow, lazy much? I vote we go in groups. Us manly men. We'll go this way to the right, and the girls, you go search to the left. Manly men? <laughs> Please. Don't ask me why I'm doing the voices, I think it's fun. I'm just doing them to do them. Saki, let's go, maybe they'll get eaten by zombies, and we won't have to put up with them anymore. <laughs> it's too dark, Saki, grab a flashlight. Last light should be in my backpack. Yep, here it is. Might as well take it to my notebook too. Um, ooh, ooh. Wait. All right. Why do toggle in the or wide open inventory to toggle flashlight X and ADU selected item? The girl's tent smells much nicer than the boy's tent. The boy's tent sends backpack is near the front. It's like his flashlight, but it's been. It's being cut through the darkness. Okay. Right. Embers of the campfire. Why did it go out so suddenly? Look at that, guys. Ow. That's a firewood. Ugh. This wood is way too wet. We'd better keep looking. Ah, right, here we are. There! This is dry enough to burn. Let's head back to the campsite. The clear jade color lake. At its center, a garland willow tree stands in a silent virtual.
Hey, what blew out of the tree up ahead? It doesn't look like a leaf. Hey, look at this, an envelope. Oh my, you probably shouldn't open it. Why not? Uh, bad luck? Don't be silly, let's see. Wow. What is it? It's a haku. It's addressed to me. Listen to this. Dear Saki, you rise like the sun. Bright, warm, nurturing, my love. Now is meant for us. Nice, but a little creep ball, if you ask me. Cheese ball. It's sweet. I love it. Do you really? Of course. How could I not? Wow, you really are romantic. Only for that stuff? But how did you get here? It must have fallen out of Sin's backpack and the wind must have carried it away. He'll be so disappointed if he thinks he lost it. But I know. When we get back to the campsite, I'll slip it in his backpack. I don't want to spoil his surprise, so don't say anything. Okay, I promise. Nimbus of the campfire. Why did it go off so suddenly? Alright. I'll just toss these on the campers. Great! The wood's burning already. Members of the campfire, why did it go out so suddenly? Voice tent, send the backpackers near the front. Where's his backpack? Oh. There. I've tucked the envelope in Sin's backpack. He'll never know it was missing. Looks like the girls beat us to it, guys. Oh, we just got lucky. We didn't have to go far. Huh. You didn't get lucky. We let you win. I didn't know it was a competition. Come on, babe. Think about it. When don't we boys have easy access to it? <laughs> don't be disgusting. <laughs> that was a little adult. <laughs> I'm sure if there was a scary campfire story in there somewhere. Something about a fiend that burns wood. And on that note, I think it's time to go to sleep. We'll just let the fire burn down and... What's this? You don't have to pretend, Sin. Hina and I found it near the lake. It must have fallen out of your backpack. It's a beautiful haku. It is? Whoever wrote this is a major crush on you. But I didn't write this. You mean you got it off the internet? No. I mean that I didn't write this. Someone else did. Someone else here. Uh-oh. Which one of you did this? Sasuke's my fiance. Trying to steal her? I sure didn't write it. I mean, I love Isaki as a friend, but Kane's my girl. Wasn't me, I swear. I mean, there's not a romantic bone in my body. I don't believe you. Spill it, Utah. Wait, what? Whoa, cowboy. Can't be Utah. You're gay anyways, right, buddy? Why would you? Kazuki? Sin, don't. Bullshit. I've seen the way you look at Saki, especially on this trip. I'm guessing that's why he came alone. Not that I've seen you with a girlfriend in forever. Are you crazy? 
I'm serious. I literally couldn't romance a stone. You're killing me, Sam. I've never seen you like this, Sam. Is that why you follow us around like a puppy? Hop in, maybe Skotsky will leave me? And you'll swoop in? Right. Like that would ever work. Get it through your head, buddy. We're getting married. Sam, why are you being so mean? He's our friend. Maybe I'm not your friend after all. Maybe I never was. Just, what is your problem, man? I should go after him. No, give him some space. Maybe we're all just overtired, especially one person I can think of. Osaki. Just go to sleep, Sam. You tell we'll be back and we'll sort this out then. Well, you be okay out there? You know we'll be fine. We just all need to calm down. Tomorrow well, we'll all wake up and be friends again, like always, you'll see. Tomorrow never comes. <laughs> I'm kidding, it does. Sort of. Later. What a nightmare. That little girl was very creepy. Felt so real. What? What's that? An earthquake? Honey, guys, sin. Did you feel that? No one's entering. What's going on? Where did this fog come from? Everyone's gone, Sam? Honey? Kazuki? Maybe they went looking for Utah. Might as well go after them. The girl's tent. I'd kind of leave without waking me up. Campfire's dead and damp from the fog. The boys' tent looked like they never went to sleep. See what I mean, guys? It's just, it's got a cool atmosphere. A huge tangle of bushes blocked the path. Oh, that earthquake really did a number on the forest. I'll never get through these vines without something sharp to cut them with. Oh yeah, that's right. Is that you? Utah? You'd better not be trying to scare me. A single weathered stone making the makeshift grave. Roughly it's that it is the word mommy. How? This wasn't here before. Maybe they were quite uncovered it or something. Seriously, mommy, what could have happened? Huh? Is that one of you guys or some animal? That wasn't a person, I hope. What's that floating in a lake? A log with some... Something stuck in it. Must have flew to the surface during the tremor. I can 
bitches. Beach it. It's weird, all my medicines. It's a weird knife. I got to run. I don't think you can yet. The blade is rusty, but it should be... It should cut through these vines. The rust of curry shatters from the effort. Hey, this is a funny. Um, I, 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 um, we gotta, we gotta go. Hello? Huh? Whoever that was ran this way. I'm gonna be so mad when I find those guys, especially Sam. I hope they're all all right. <laughs> Who, who's there? Here? Where did that come from? It's old too. Must have been here for years. Maybe I just got turned around in the fog? Let's see, I'm alone in the dead of night, considering entering what appears to be a rusted out and probably dangerously unstable old train. Yep, recipe for disaster. But what if my friends aren't there? Well, and them, they ran into this. We got everything and just started exploring. Looks like I don't have a choice. I'm gonna check to see if they're in the train. guys A indie horror game. Welcome. How old is this train? Must be decades. I can taste the rust and mold in the air. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? Had a notebook, half of the contents are missing. <laughs> what? Who 
was that? Come on, Saki. Get it together. You're just letting this place get to you. That sin always tells me. I just have to over... I have an overreaction imagination. Yeah. How can someone be so dense? So, hopefully that was only my imagination. Hopefully. I'll read the run. There's a bulge beneath the boulders. Oh, a tin paint dinner. How'd that get stuck here? The curtain seems tangled in something. So the paint dinner is trapped for now. Fire extinguisher. There's a grimy handprint on it. A janitor's utility locker. Its door is locked. <laughs> That's what he did. Guys, I'm I'm really enjoying this so far. I pray you guys are too. Is that real? It looks like it's clenching something. Right open, two girls to touch it, right open. We're beached, guys. Horrible modified hand resting on leather book. Almost looked like it's waiting for something. So we got that. I wonder if the if that unlocks the the janitor's utility locker. Yep. Inside are some tools that built in the mini safe. Robar. Does nothing. Alright, so it's not for that. Does nothing. So it's something in here, guys. Pile of broken furniture is blocking the door. If I have the right tool, I can pry the furniture apart to get through. This crowbar should help me pry away the furniture. It worked! The doorway is clear. A child's drawing is hidden among the chairs. Something's written on the back. Bright moon in the sky. We sat side by side, then dark. Who's gone? Moon? Them? Me? Child's drawing. New save. This looks like a diary page. It's not dated. We both enjoy the same things. We always have. I see now, however, that we enjoy these same things in different ways. He savors taste. I indulge, indulge in aromas. We stare at each other eye to eye, our faces inches away. Even so, neither of us can see each other. I read page one. A tiny news. Oh, that gives me the creeps. The hand. Right. A 
sucked. The city would endure its luck tight. There's the shape of something or someone just barely visible to the people. Hey, is someone in there? Zen? Yuta? Hanani? I can see you. Are you okay? Open the door. Who's in there? Then come on. You're scaring me. Whoever it is doesn't reply. Seems to hover in place. Hung with the rope. Needs a crowbar? Okay. Can't be opened. It's stained to dried sink. A fragment faces stairs. Back from the shards of the broken ear. Ugh. Those dark circles. I need some sleep. I hope I can find in the other soon. There's nothing. A stained but empty toilet bowl. The toilet has a handle. But there's nothing to flush. Takes the handle. Okay, what would I need the handle for? Okay. A large trash bin is off. A small piece of paper stuck out from under the platter. My dolls are my friends. Her friends were my dolls. That way we could play, always. See what I mean about this indie game? It's just, it's creepy. It's got a creepy vibe. I like the mystery of it. It's rotten away now. But I bet the food was very fancy back in the day. I'm never going to get through this door. What if Sin in that locked room? Hurt. And able to answer me. Ah. Uh, it was locked, right? That's not going to help. A red blood splash paint partially obscures something carved into the door. Peek into the cabinet. Come out, please, Sam. Are you hurt? There's no reply. The figure still remains still and silent. Well, please, Sam. Kazumi, are you hurt? Okay. Hmm. I'm missing something. Stop. Nothing. Kind of news. That gives me the creeps. I can't take it or nothing, so. in there. Well, no way I'm sticking my hand in that muck. The handle snaps into place. The 
The toilet flushes and drains dark. <laughs> Look. Hey, a pair of shears. And they still look sharp. They're still a little slimy, but I bet they'll come in handy. locker contains a built-in mini safe if I could get something through the through that maze I might be able to open the safe I've been looking all over for you and everyone else. Have you seen them? Eh, not for a while. Just been looking at this book. I imagine it was a poetry book. Haku's love poems. When the people on this train were alive, some of them were in love. Are you okay? It's just a pile of rotten papers. I mean... Are you still mad at sin? Not that I would blame you. No, no, I'm not mad anymore. I'm over it now. I'm over a lot. I guess I'm still sad though. And then me that I swear. I can be a little jealous. And he was overtired. <laughs> That's you, Saki. All the way. Excuse and sin. That's not fair. I didn't excuse him. I told him he was being mean. I suppose. But that doesn't mean you quite confronted him or defended me. Hell, only Kazuki really came to my defense. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Or anything you don't mean, anyways. You were just being a good fiancé. You make that sound like a bad thing. I suppose it's not. But have you ever noticed? People start out as strangers. Then they become friends. Then they become girlfriends and boyfriends. Then the word friend disappears and closer you get. Fiance, husband, wife. No more friends. You are really worrying me, Yuta. And I am your friend. Yeah, I know. Well, listen. Let's find the others and get out of here. Someone's in the cabin with the weird lock on the door. I can't tell whether they are trapped or hurt. It might be San or Kazaki or Kanani. Kazuki. Or Kanani? Hell, it could be a dressed dummy. But we need to get in there just in case. Okay, I'll tell you what to do. And tell me what to do and I'll help. Okay, follow me. Wow, now's not the time to go back to the camp. Oh! Let's be right here. Tears cut through the thick curtains. A tin of paint thinner bangs on the floor. That worked, let's go. For the paint thinner. Oh, the blood on the floor. It'll have the numbers, and then I can do the save.
Let me save it. There we go. The red paint was diluted. Painting figures? What could this mean? Did you see that? Cute little tyke. But Yuda, what's a kid doing in here in the middle of the night? Sleepwalking. You be serious for once, Yuda. My friends have been seeing those places freaking they me the hell out. Sorry. Thank you. Now that kid ran towards the diner car. Let's check it out. Um, let me go back and save it. I do believe last time I did this, doing the demo, I did die. So, just to be safe, so I won't have to do some of this stuff again. Here we go. Huh? Did you? That sounded like a crowd. But... The place is completely empty. It's always party time somewhere. Zip it, Yuda. We're seeing things and now we're starting to hear things. What? Another child's drawing. Where did this come from? It was my first trip. Many takes journeys of so long. Some will never end. Another quake! What's causing a muta? This one's totally messing with my equilibrium. I'm getting dizzy. I feel so weird, Yuda. I think I'm I think I'm going to It's okay, Sasuke. Just relax. Chapter 2, Destination Pass. What happened? Where am I? Looks like that old rusted out train. But brand new. Can't be. It must be another train. It has to be. I'm sure someone here can tell me where I am and how I got here. Um, excuse me. Where's this train? You think rich people would trip tip better? This is going to be a long trip. To where though? Where are we going? Hello? Excuse me. Oh, he's sleeping. I better not bother him. Pardon me, but... Mother, this food tastes like beet. This is an expensive trip. The food is fine, you're just being picky. But mom... Hush. They ignored me. Excuse me, but... This is supposed to be the express service to Kyoto? Why are we moving so slowly, especially with the war raging around us? My tea is getting cold. Service on this train is slow, too. <laughs> uh, hello? They... They can't hear or see me. It's like I'm a ghost. Am I... Dead? That's silly. 
probably just dreaming. But if it's a dream, why can't anyone hear me? I wonder if I can touch anything. I better figure out what's going on before I go any further. What was that noise? I hope there's no critters in the trash bin. That would cause a panic. Trash can, even the garbage smells. What else can I do here? Samples. Oh, here they are. Something rolled out from the men's case. He's sleeping on his case now, so I can put it back in. Oops, hey. Now look what you've done. My blouse is stained. I didn't do it on purpose, I swear. It's like someone tried to take this food away. Don't lie, that's it. I'm taking you back to the cabin. You're grounded. But mom... Oh, oops. What? My key. I didn't feel like the train hit the bomb, but it's filled. I have no idea what's going on here, but that was fun. Although, I feel bad I got that little boy in trouble. But what am I going to do now? I have to find a way to talk to someone. Looks like I am already into this trash can. That means I'm done with my janitorial duties for now and can get started on my surprise for my wife. Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to talk to that guy. I'll just clip this here and yes. She'll love this poem when the, she finds it. What's that you doing, Nostro? I've created a scavenger hunt for Minoko to give her something to do for a while I work. She's been acting bored and restless since we began our journey. It's probably the war. It's got all of us on edge. Your bride is very lucky to have a husband as attractive as you at the time like this. Oh, attentive. Gosh. <laughs> I really thought it said attractive. Well, make sure you tell that the next time you see her. See you later. If there is a later. Hello, excuse me. Hello? Nothing. Maybe if I look around, I'll find someone who can see me. I'll be able to join you shortly, my love. I just have a few more tasks to accomplish. But, Atusa, this is supposed to be our honeymoon. It is. But you know the only way I can get us on a train is for me to be working at the same time. You know my parents would have paid for it. Maniko. Maniko. Yeah. Maniko. 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 It's my responsibility to provide for you now, not theirs. But this trip is becoming such a bore. 
You're always working and there's only a vague interesting family on board. Don't worry, I'm almost done. Aren't you enjoying the poems I've hidden around the train to surprise you? Yes, they are very sweet. I don't want poems. I want my husband. Just a bit longer, my love. Not much, to be honest. I've misplaced the key to my locker in the mini safe. I must find that before I go in the can do anything else. Fine, do what you must. Maybe if you didn't distract yourself with pawns, you wouldn't lose things. Of course, dear. Now you've upset me, I feel a bit queasy. Is there a doctor in the neighborhood or neighboring cabin? Perhaps he'll care for me, since you seem not to. Ouch. That mean, that's mean and unfair, Minako. Minako, Minako. Janitor is married to a socialite? By the looks of it, that's a complicated relationship. But stuck. That woman dropped a piece of paper that, that she was leaving. Your delicate hands. How rough my fingers must feel. Pictures of love, love. Is that his poem? It's a beautiful poem. Where'd you go? He was right in front of me. Huh. You must have hurried into the next car already. Alright. Okay, guys. Let, we'll, we'll get to a certain spot. There's a certain spot coming up I want to get to. It's eerie how much this train resembles the train in the forest. What are those two up to? The whispering. I don't usually eavesdrop, but this is my dream. And since I'm a ghost in it, what would it hurt? I met the most interesting fellow, poet. Apparently he works on the train company, if you can imagine that. Is that so? Master Eli e e e G. He is a command commoner like myself. And Ah, oh, Keo. Don't say that. You know there's nothing common about you. That's kind of what you say, Master E.G. But your mother has a different view. You don't have to call me Master E.G. Not that we're alone. Besides, my mother adores you. And the housekeeper, perhaps. Here <laughs> my muse. Yeah, you, know, you know that. Nothing else matters. It would matter to your mother. Don't worry about her. She'll be fine. When the time is right. But when will... <coughs> Mother's having a spell. I need to go. The Master Ichi. She has a nurse. Yes, but she needs a son. Excuse me, Kyo. She was so upset, and he barely noticed. I better check on her. Well, she's kind of nosy, isn't she? She's a nosy girl. Huh? Where did she go? Did she make it to the next car that quickly? Where did that little girl and her mother come from? My 
me? A doll? I can't find my doll. Which one on you me? I can't keep track. The two to a bonzu. If I don't hang it, we'll have the bad luck. That's a horrible thing. I wouldn't be surprised if someone threw it out. It looks like a rag wrapped in around the ball. That's me, Mommy. I want my dog. Hey, put. I'll ask the porter. What's happening? Maybe you can help me, would you? You, you can see me? Sure. And no one else can, right? Nope. No one else can see me or hear me. That's because they don't want to. They don't like to be distracted from themselves. Well, I can never tell what's going on in my dreams anyways. Dreams? Yeah, this is a dream. You're just someone in my dream. All right. All my ghost friends say that. Ghost friends? But my mother calls them imaginary friends. She says I have a vivid imagination. I think it's just because I have any imagination and most adults don't. But my ghost friends are real. And so am I. Ghost? And... I am dead? No, I don't think so. I've met dead ghost friends. They're not quite as nice to play with. I see. So, can you help me find my doll? Those friends can go into places I can't go. I'm only a little girl after all, not a ghost like you. Okay, I mean, I'll try, but I wouldn't know where to start looking. But Mother said it could have gotten thrown out. Maybe she's probably right. I tend to leave the dolls everywhere, so this one looks a little like a typical doll. Okay, I'll try. This is off, and only the janitor has the key. It looks like I'm gonna have to tell that little girl she's lost this doll for good. No, maybe we can get it to the janitor. Wait a minute, what? Don't think I can help him, I should take this phone to his wife. It also doesn't appear to be in a trash can. That leaves the bin, but how do I unlock that? that woman's voice. No one's in there. I don't think there's only one in there. Not a person, I believe. An animal? Why would I think that? No use in forging ahead. Slip it under the door. I should slip this under the door and... What was that? It's an envelope addressed to you. It's for my husband. How foolish I am. I told him I was coming to see you. But he doesn't know the truth. He doesn't suspect. He can't. Calm yourself, my dear. Never fear. I've worked for the Morrises for years, believe me. I know a thing or two about this question. It's just that he can't know yet. And he doesn't know. That is, if he wish to take care of certain steps. I can't. 
can't think about that right now. Of course. But I am at your service. Thank you, Dr. Clark. I am in your debt. Now please excuse me. I wonder what that was all about. Is she crying? Tell I can't find it. I'm sorry, little girl. I. A Yumi. You can call me a Yumi. What a pretty name. Minasaki. I know. But. How? I know all my ghost friends' names. If you say so, Yumi. Anyways, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find it all. I think it's locked in the trash can. I don't know how to get the key. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find it in time. In time? In time for what? Silly, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Nimi? What's happening? So it begins. Chapter 3, Utah. What happened? What a weird dream. Utah, where's Utah? Utah? What's this in my pocket? No. Hippie. That's impossible. That's okay. You're awake. You that? It was so strange I was dreaming or I thought I was dreaming. I was on this dream but in the past and it was new. It was going somewhere and there were these people and they couldn't hear me, and the little girl, she could, and she lost her doll. Whoa, slow down. You'll have to give yourself a heart attack. See this metal ball? I took this from a man in my dream. He had a little case full of them. How could this be real if I dreamed it? Well, didn't you ask how it could have been a dream? If that thing is real? What are you saying? Don't worry, you'll sort it all out in time. That's just what the little girl said. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, now that you're awake, will you try to get to that locked door in the next car? Yes, let's get back there. Hey, what's that? I'm never going through this door. I gotta figure out what's going on before I move on. Stop the drawing ball on the floor. Hung to the top train. Hanged to the top of the train. Taru, Taru Bazu doll. How does the doll feel? This is the kind of doll a little girl my dream lost. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop here for tonight. We're in chapter 3. I hope you're enjoying the game. This game is really cool. Um, I hope you enjoy and join me next time for chapter 2. I like the story too so far. I think that's what's keeping me going on this. 
And because, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of these type of games, so. But anyways, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Love you guys. God bless. And you guys take it easy. See ya.